Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Nick Graham. I'm the tutoring coordinator here at Manhattanville College. And today I just wanted to talk about uh, something that's related to the ARC or the Academic Resource Center. Uh, and that's what to do when you get your syllabi for class. So this is just a short slideshow. Um, so how to read a syllabus. The first thing that you're going to notice when you get all of your syllabi for class is at the top, there's going to be some valuable information that you're going to want to take note of. So the first thing is which class, the times and days and location. Um, so that you've probably gotten because you're there in the classroom. But right below that, um, you have the information for the instructor, their email, their office hours, uh, and those are going to be very important pieces of information to note down. First, you wanna save the professor's email address so that later on you can contact them. Um, the office hours so that you can go to their office, you can set up meetings, whether it be online or in person, and ask some questions about the course or clarify anything that you need clarified. On my syllabi, this is my syllabi from one of my writing courses, um, I include the class librarian, um, and this is Paula's information and phone number and office in the library, but you also want to note that for your own purposes, for research for classes and using the library as a resource here. So take all of this information from the top of your syllabi and maybe put it in your schedule, block out the times where you have class, save the information where the professor has their office hours and their email. And oftentimes um, you can email them questions about even further uh, details in the syllabi. Which brings me to some more supplies and resources. These are going to be outlined uh, and these will be strategies that you can use for your classes. So in the syllabi, there's going to be a list of required texts and supplies. So you wanna check for the required text and visit the bookstore to get those textbooks and supplies. Some professors in my uh, experience um, will put things like um, have access to a thumb drive or some kind of cloud device. So just make sure you're noting that. Check your professor's office hours and availability again. You wanna check Starfish for peer tutors and SI. So this is my department here. Through the Academic Resource Center, we provide individualized tutoring, which are the peer tutors, and SIs, which are guided study sessions that a student who's succeeded in the course before um, leads. So they attend the class, they lead a study session for an hour every single week. That way you get some alternative teaching methods there. You want to go to the Writing Center. They help with all written work. So um, if you need help understanding what the assignment is about or how to approach the assignment through, you know, brainstorming techniques, outlining techniques, they can help you with any of that. If you have any accommodations, please visit the Center for Student Accommodations so that you can, um, you know, talk to them about anything you've had in the past and visit the library for research and reference. So this is applicable to any class because you're going to have to do some research and the librarians are specialized in helping with research. That's what their degrees are in and they can help you find resources and approach a project or a paper or anything that you need. Um, and finally, here are some advanced syllabus strategies. So this is what I tell students in some of the workshops that the ARC runs throughout the semester and the year. When you receive your syllabus, you wanna mark down the major assignment due dates. So keep a calendar, mark down your major assignment due dates. That way you're not constantly checking back to the syllabus uh, to see when those are. You wanna look for the section that outlines the grade percentage breakdown. So each major assignment, how much is it worth? Uh, what is the grade breakdown? Compile all of your syllabi into a single folder or create a folder for each class. Again, keeping all of your information in one place so that you're not juggling anything or trying to keep it all in your working memory. You wanna check Starfish to see if you have peer tutoring or SI sessions available. So as soon as you get your syllabi, go to Starfish, 
check to see in your courses tab if you have peer tutors or SIs available. And of course, block out class time uh, and study time in your schedule um, so that you can uh, keep track of all of this stuff on top of your major assignments. So not only are you keeping track of all your major assignments, you've blocked out time to complete those. You can use a physical planner, you can use electronic resources, it's up to you and it's pretty much user preference at this point. So what I would suggest if you have any other questions would be first to contact your professor if, if you are having trouble understanding the syllabus or the schedule. Each syllabus usually has a class schedule that outlines you know, each unit of the course or uh, what the outline of the course will be. So contact your professor about that. And again, if you have even further questions about approaching certain assignments, uh, come visit the ARC and the Writing Center, both located in the library, and reach out to any of the peer tutors or supplemental instructors uh, if they are available. So that's it, and I wish you the most success here in your journey at Manhattanville, and I hope to see you all in Library 118 during the fall semester.